good morning students in previous class we discussed about how we can do the problems uh, when we know the one ratio of trigonometry how we can identify the other ratios actually so for this as you got we need as you pythagoras theorem very need for identify the trigonometry ratios so otherwise other time of given in a right angle in a angle the time of given two sides any two sides here how many sides are there A B B C A C A C is the matrix. So all out of these three sides, when we know two sides, okay, we can easily to identify the third side by using Pythagoras theorem. By using Pythagoras theorem, when we know three sides of the triangle, three sides of the triangle, right angle triangle, we can easily to define the trigonometric ratios. So what are those sine, cos, uh, tan, cosecant, secant, cot? These are the trigonometric ratios. Already we discussed about this as well. I already I gave explanation about these properties, these ratios. Two problems already I gave explanation. See the sum of problems. How we can do the uh, how we can identify the ratios, the trigonometric ratios. We need another one ratio, one more problem sequence. In the right angle triangle ABC, right angle at B. If tan A equals one, then verify that two sine A cos A equals one. So what is that? Right angle triangle ABC. Right angle triangle ABC. Okay. So what is that? Right angle triangle ABC. Right angle at B. Right angle at B here given. So one more given. One ratio given. Tan A equals to tan A equals to one. So what you have to check here? Two sin a into cos a. Two sin a into cos a. Sin a cos a equals to one. We should two lines. We should check this one. Two sin a into cos a equals to one. Then verify that here. We should verify this one. Okay. So if you are answering the two sin a into cos a, two sin a into cos a. So this value will become one means this condition is right. Otherwise. So already we know when we know the what is that uh, one or uh, one ratio given one ratio given okay so what is the first given one what I am writing given in triangle ABC angle B equals to ninety degrees one more given what is that tan A equals to one degree this implies. Already we know that how can we find the ratio, tan ratio, opposite side by opposite side by adjacent side. Tan ratio is the opposite side by adjacent side. So what is the opposite one? AB. Sorry, BC is the opposite one. AB is the adjacent. And the opposite one is the BC. Adjacent one is the AB equals to one. This implies BC equals to A B will come. B C equals to A B will come. Okay, B C equals to A B. This implies arrange let B C equals to A B equals to K R. Let B C equals to A B equals to K. Constant R. Previously we converted the uh, fraction into ratio. Then after uh, converting the ratio, we then for other people. Values of the ratio actually with the constant. Okay, like this, let B C equals A B equals to. Okay. By applying this one over here, we know B C value. You know B C value how much? K. What about A B value? K. Now in this right angle triangle, how many sides we know? With the constant K actually two sides. We know. Which one is the third side? A C value. By using Pythagoras theorem. By using Pythagoras theorem. What should I? A C square equals to. A B square plus B C square. A B square plus B C square. This implies A C square equals to uh, what is that? K. This is the K. K square plus K square. A C equals to uh, A C square equals to two K square will come. A C equals to root two K will come. What is the A C value? Root two K will come. We transpose the square to right side. Square root of two K. What square will come? So square root of two, square root of two only. K square root of k square is the k. So what is the AC value? 
square root of k will come. Now why you should check actually 2 sin a cos a should come. 2 sin a cos a. Before that if you want identify the sin a right first. Sin a equals therefore sin a equals. What is the sin a? Opposite side by hypotenuse. Opposite what is that? BC by AC. How much become BC by is that K? This is the root 2 K already we identified. Root 2 K will come. This one cancel. 1 by root 2 is the sin K value. Then one more value what we need actually? We should check the 2 sin A cos A equals to 1. 2 sin A cos A equals to 1. So one more one I am adding to the cos A value. Cos A equals to adjacent side by adjacent is the AB. AB by AC. All hypothesis is the AC. Same K by root 2 K will come. So 1 by root 2. 1 by root 2. Cos A value how much you got? 1 by root 2. Now substitute these two values in the problem. So we should find sin A cos A. 2 sin A cos A value. Ok. Now only we identify sin A value how much? 1 by root 2. What about cos A value? 1 by root 2. 1 by root 2 into root 2 how much will come? 1 by 2 will come. 2 to be cancelled 1. So therefore 2 sin A cos A equals to 1. At last hence verified. Ok, this is the process to check the given condition is correct or not. So here what here given? Tan A value how much given? 1 given. Where in right angle triangle, right angle at B and tan A equals to 1 given. So by using this first what we identify as AC value identify. Why here AC equals to AB equals to BC will come. So this value here will be K value. So if you are assuming the ABC equals to AB equals to K, AB value, BC value will come. By using the Pythagoras theorem, we can easily identify the AC value. When we know the three sides of the right angle triangle, we can easily define the ratios. But what we need actually is sign as well as cos ratios are needed to identify the to verify this problem. 2 sin A to cos A equals to 1. So for this sin A we identify as well as cos A also we identify. So substitute so, so, these values in this problem will get the overall value how much become 1. So this is the process to the then see that one more 3 cot A equals to 4 3 cot A equals to 4 given so what is that 3 cot A equals to 4 given previously I said one problem 3 tan A equals to 4 I said 3 tan A equals to 4 I said in the same manner here 3 cot A equals to 4 given so what you are asking first problem really whether 1 minus tan square by 1 plus tan square equals you should check 1 minus tan square a by 1 plus tan square a what is that 1 minus tan square a by 1 plus tan square a equals to cos square a minus sin square a cos square a minus sin square a we should check now. this one is correct or not we should this one is correct or this condition is correct or not so here tan square a means tan square a means tan a whole square. So in trigonometry, tan square a means tan a whole square. Don't matter. Square means we should write whole square also can write. Okay, simply we should write tan a value when we know the tan a value. While well, replacing tan a in this, so we get how can we write whole square can write. For example, uh, 4 by 3 if we are getting the tan a value. So tan square a means 4 by 3 whole square we should write actually. Example is it? But here we will work at given 3 cot A equals to 4 given. So already I said let us assume right angle triangle A B C right angle to B. Right angle to B. So if we are assuming cot A equals to what will come? 4 by 3 will come. Cot A equals to 4 by 3 will come. This implies um, cot A value. Why is this cot A? What is the cot A actually? Adjacent by opposite. What is the adjacent? A B will come. What is opposite? BC will come. AB by BC equals to 4 by 3 will come. Uh, this one I am writing B is to AB is to BC equals to 4 is to 3 R. Next, let AB equals to 4K and BC equals to 
So what is the positive value? Well, Another value by four by five means four by five whole square minus this one three by five whole square three by five whole square this one sixteen by twenty five minus this one na nine by twenty five. So twenty five is the LCM sixteen minus nine seven by twenty five. Here LHS RHS both are we got the same or na. LHS how much you got? Seven by twenty five. RHS seven by twenty five. LHS equals to RHS. Therefore, what is the net? We should write it like this. Given power one minus a square a by one plus a square a equals to cos square a minus sine square a. So this is the process of the problem. Okay, what is given? Cos a value given. What is given? Cos a value given. So by using that ratio, we should check this condition. To check condition, already we know when we know one ratio in right angle triangle, when we know the one ratio, we can easily define other ratios. But instead of that, you are asked other ratios. So what you should check the problem. This is the condition here. So this one is correct or not? You are asked. So all that means when we know the angle value, what's the value sign here? These three ratios are when we know we can easily check this condition. So how can check the condition means first we should identify the LHS value as well as RHS value. If you are getting those values are same LHS as well as RHS, both we are getting the same values. Then you can verify the condition. The given condition is true. Okay, LHS equals to RHS. Therefore, one minus tan square a by one plus tan square a equals to cos square a minus sin square a. So most probably, so in uh, in this exercise, what we are applying means one ratio, well, the ratio we should check the, we should identify the two sides of a right angle triangle. Then how can we identify the third side means by using Pythagoras theorem? First, we should identify the third side. Then when we know three sides of a right angle triangle, we can easily identify the different ratio, different means other ratios, other ratios of trigonometric ratios we can identify. Then we can easily check any condition. All I tell you the. Okay, so this is a partial of the problems in this exercise. Okay, tomorrow I will end the session. Thank you.